if a woman that was small hit you, do you think you should hit her back even though you weren't hurt? Heard or hurt? I absolutely think I should have the right to hit that lady back. <laughs> Regardless. No, even if you no. hurt? Absolutely. Oh, hurt. No. It Why? cannot be the case that some 5'3 woman gets to run around and hit every six foot man. Like, what <laughs> world are you living in? Damn. Just because you can't well, hurt? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs>
do you think you should hit her back even though you weren't hurt? Heard or hurt? I absolutely think I should have the right to hit that lady back. <laughs> Regardless. No, no hurt? Absolutely. Oh, hurt. No. It Why? cannot be the case that some 5'3 woman gets to run around and hit every six foot man. Like, what <laughs> world are you living in? Just because you can't hurt, wait, 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 wait. Just because nah, a woman, yeah. just because a woman is five three and can't hurt a man over six foot, means that she just gets to walk around and hit every single man willy nilly. No, I mean that ain't what she says. She's saying not no willy nilly, but I get it. That I mean, it's still the same. She said I would never do it, but you you are sitting here asking the question, and which means it's coming from your mind. If you wouldn't do it, where you getting that from? You're trying to substantiate some type of argument where just because you ain't hurt the man, he can't hurt you. Look, maybe this girl got some, maybe she got a jaw on her. Maybe she can take a punch. She may not hurt her either, but that's irrelevant. You have no right to put your hands on anybody regardless, especially if it's just the, if it's just the fact that you can't hurt him. He, I ain't hurt him, so he can't hit me back. That's not how the way, that's not how this world works. <laughs> logic. Logic. Where's logic in that? Where is the logic in that? Makes no sense. No. Well, there you go. So, so okay. So, are you saying that it's men's duty to cheat? Jesus Christ, who said the word duty? Are you? Come on, Kay. Listen, Kay. I'm, this asking. Kay. I'm, this asking. I'm starting duty. to see what people are talking about. I'm no asking. one said the word duty but you. Like, you're putting words in my mouth. I'm not. I said I'm what I said. You literally just put words I'm in my mouth. I'm asking you. Do you Well, don't think? know. Well, if you ask me then, but don't put words in my mouth I'm when not. you ask me. I said, do you think <laughs> that it's a man's duty to put like a smaller woman in her place if she tries to hit him. Oh, no. Hell no. Facts. Hold on, hold on. Facts. As soon as she opened that door, she she's she's opening herself to whatever comes from that, depending upon that man. But there's no responsibility on anybody to do anything. You open that door, you got to deal with the consequences from opening that, that goddamn door. Hopefully, you've done that with a man who is going to address this most beneficial for your safety. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but if you got that one, that's gonna knock the fucking black off your ass. Hey, you brought that on yourself. You know what I mean? We gotta get get this shit out of here. Growing ass adults, there should never be any any type of fucking instance where anybody putting their hands on anybody. This ain't we ain't in the elementary school. Come on, man. It's her duty I, to keep her hands to herself. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, because I don't want Kay to miss. I don't want Kay to misunderstand what the lead was saying. Kay, the way you started with the question, you said, "Are you saying that it's a man's duty?" Right. Exactly, Rilla. So that's exactly. a different that's a different question. That's why he was saying don't put words in my mouth. Thank you, Rilla. That's a different way of asking. So are you you're saying, saying like, Rilla and I are actually listening not. to the words that are coming out of your mouth. Even if you're not listening to them. It's a man should have the duty to make sure He's safe. that he is protected at all times. Facts. At all times. And should allow no one to just walk around willy nilly hitting him whether or not he feels subjectively or objectively that that person can or cannot hurt him all facts hey, lead i have a oh, question oh. i have a question so let's just take the dynamics of you and k and k's five three you're six three a whole foot and she hits you you should stop it right there though you should stop it right there though like it doesn't matter as soon as she as soon as, I, I, I'm gonna let her ask the question, but she's sitting here trying to find some loophole or find some something about this situation that's gonna change the responsibility of the of each party in this engagement due to the fact that one's a smaller woman and one's a larger male. The sizes and the sexes have nothing to do with nothing. And she hits you. And you're like, I well, you hit me, I should be able to hit you back. What about an, an alternative, and I'm just asking, of a restraint, since you're bigger, and grabbing the fuck? Yeah, this is, hey, 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 I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, generalize and say all women think like this, but there's a lot of women who think like that. You took it upon yourself to hit me, and since I'm bigger than you, it could probably hurt you. It's on me to figure out the best way to calm the situation down, making sure you're safe and I'm safe. <sighs> That's retarded. Doesn't make any damn sense. That is that is so dangerous, man. That's so dangerous. I, how many women share the same perspective as her? 
I mean, shit, how many men probably share the same perspective as her, right? Like, me personally, like, I, I, I am that man. Like, if a woman puts her hands on me, I'm going to find the, the path of least resistance to get out of this. Just because I know where we are in society, and I'm, I'm not about to be, you know, hurting no women. But that's not fair for me. But I, just, I, know, I know what it is. But if the same situation happened with some other dude and he felt like he wanted to knock her fucking block off, I wouldn't have an issue with it. Like, she put herself in that position. He and I just did two different dudes. But you got a bunch of dudes that will probably attack this man. You know what I'm saying? Cash, like, socially castrate this man. The police will lock him up when she put him in that position. One of those many instances where, you know, women have the advantage over men in situations like this. And it, it don't make it no better when you got women trying to put it on the man to fix it because we the bigger man <laughs> bars we are the bigger man mentally and, and physically in that situation where they can't they can't calm themselves they can't chill out they're gonna put their hands on them and the only reason they putting their hands on them because they know well not ain't not not, not i can't say that it's because they in the moment logic is thrown out the window but i would argue that women will do that because they know the double standard. They know the type of position that man is once I put my hands on him. If he knocks me out, he's going to get penalized, not me. And it's going to happen like that 99% of the time, man. Grabbing her app <laughs> and calling the police. Fuck that. And saying, she's right now hitting me. Come here and arrest her for assault. Fuck that. And having it legally... On the book that she hits men. She thinks she's saying something so mind blowing too. They about to eat her shit. <laughs> they about to eat her shit. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Let them know. Yeah. First yeah. Of all, Here we go. Uh, well, I'll take the second go. point first. First of all, no one cares that women hit men. Facts. When you say legally on the book that she hits men, <laughs> no one get cares. Her ass. She's not going to get punished. She's about to get her That's ass. not a deterrent at all. None. Second of all, if I restrain her, if I grab her wrist, it's she can still get hurt. Yeah. So guess what? We're both going to jail. Oh, you're right? super so strong. I, I am protected. Oh, you're super strong. You, why are you focused on shit that don't matter? You're super strong. No, they don't, you don't have to be super strong and put no bruise on no wrist. If she moving and you holding her down, it's going to be some shit going to pop off most likely. But why is that the first thing she's thinking about, bro? It's a problem. That's a problem. Hey, fella, stay away from that shit, bro. i myself, restraining <laughs> her, doing what you say I should do. And then when the cops show up and see my fingerprints on her wrist, we're both going. But and that's the best side. case scenario. Because so what then you what could, should you do? But hold on, Kay. Let me you finish. shouldn't put your hands on nobody. Go ahead, Lee. What I'm saying is your your solution is the best case scenario. Okay. What happens a lot of times and, is I And and her solution is what she thinks the man should do when he's attacked. When he's the victim in it. You the victim, but you bigger, so you gotta fix it. That's that that I could restrain her, the cops show up. They see bruises on her wrist, he going but to they jail. don't see any bruises on me. So now she's free, and I'm going to jail. Facts. Right. And these same cops have probably been raised, uh, especially down here in Georgia, under yeah. the assumption that men don't hit women regardless. Yeah. That's why it's all messed up on all different levels. Yep. Well, let me ask you this, because you're restraining, you know, you're talking about holding the wrist. Restraining could be a bear hug. Oh. Her, you know what I'm saying? Are but you serious? You, but Why no, you guys breaking down? down? Who, who the fuck gonna sit there be thinking in the moment? Okay, she hit me. All right, I can A, you know, knock her ass out. All right, uh, B, grab her wrist. Uh, C, grab her throat. Uh, D, bear hugger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, who, if you were in the heat of the moment, who got, first of all, who got time to be thinking about all these options? Unless you got you got this blueprint <laughs> already set up for situations like this, and if you do, you definitely shouldn't be with that bitch. But like, who, who, come on, man, who 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 gonna do all that in a, in 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 the heat of the moment? And then how selfish is it for this woman to put that burden on a man to go through all that, right? Nah, man, like. Women have no accountability in this. She hit them because she's small and it's on a man to fix it. Nah, they need to reverse their way of thinking. This woman has hit the man. She need to control herself and figure out the best way to clean this shit up. It ain't on a man to fucking do it. You hit somebody, you hit somebody, you get knocked out. You got knocked out. The fuck?
But society gonna torch that dude for doing it, bro. Y'all gotta let me finish. If you hit her, being that you're a foot taller, you don't think that's going to be an imprint more than trying to constrain her, than what fight her? And if she doesn't get anything on her, or well, no, you don't get anything on her because she's not strong enough to do any kind of uh, bruise on you, but you're able to bruise her when you fight her and the police come, who getting arrested? The police, when they come, they're looking at who is more messed up. You know, there's no they telling. Do. The police police come, come, there's no the telling what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, the only, only, only thing I can oh, try and look at it from her side of things, I don't think this is coming from placing the burden on the man. I'm I'm taking it as that because I am a man. She, I think she's explaining, all right, this is the situation. She put your hands on you. What are you going to do to make sure you get out of this as safe as you can? I, that's the message she's trying to convey. But the men are not taking it that way. They're taking it where, hey, why you you're not understanding the premise of it? She, I, I think she I think she does understand the premise of it. But taking everything in of where we are, what, what the women did, what what the man can do, where we are in society, what is going to get you out of this shit the easiest way possible? So I understand. I understand. I understand that if that's the thought process she has but if she's just giving the woman every excuse to do what she wants putting the burden on the man to fix it that's 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 crazy bro that's crazy so i'm trying to give it a benefit of the doubt i'm trying to get she can't she because she can't be that she can't be that retarded she can't be that dumb because they're having a uh, back and forth right now so she has to be using her brain yeah uh, when, the police come, when, the, when the no it's not when the police come they examine the woman, they examine the man, and they see who is more battered. Okay, what's your point that you're trying well, to I'll make? I'll tell you my point. My point is, is, is you, when Lee said, well, I'll get arrested because of me restraining her and holding her hands, my thing is you're going to get more arrested if you're fighting her and she has a black eye. Yeah, she just ain't smart. She just said more arrested. You're going to get more arrested. What the hell does more arrested mean? Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, fam. Like, the dude gonna, dude gonna get arrested regardless. Ain't no more arrested about nothing. My thing is, you gonna get more arrested if you're fighting her and she has a black eye. Courtney, there's no such thing as more arrested. That's why you need more <laughs> pregnant. Not, not, not. You can't be okay, more let pregnant. Me, it's Either not you're pregnant or you're not. <laughs> Courtney, come okay. on. You mean okay, you're taking these long soliloquies. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm giving you a scenario. Was like, I don't understand what you're saying. No one's it tell you're saying more arrested. Courtney, are you making okay. sense? I'm Courtney, giving are you there's saying, no such thing as more arrested okay, for a well, man. Okay, well, excuse that I said that, lead attorney, okay? That was a, a misspoke, okay? So well, excuse me for saying, saying that, that words matter. I said, well, so, uh, okay, and I'm saying excuse me. Get to the point. Get to the point. Okay, well, let me explain what I'm trying to say what i'm saying is that we're talking about now arrest and who's going to get it fingerprints or or restraining her it's not an investigation police, right now it's... and calling the police <laughs> will have a, i think more of an effect than you fighting her and you're bigger than her and making more bruises on her and when the police come they're going to look at you and her and see what's who's more battered She's focused on the wrong thing. I get it, man, but she's focused on the wrong thing. That is not, unless I'm missing the the subject of this debate. Hey, if you find yourself in a situation, you get hit. There's some things you could do to make sure you get out of this as best as you can. But that's not what they're talking about. So what the conversation sounds like it is about is, I mean, so what she's talking about is irrelevant. But I get it, but it's irrelevant. She's missing the point. She's missing the whole shit. This is supposed to be a, a a look in the mirror for women who feel like this happens. Why is it that way? Answer the questions. Come with this dialogue so we can get this out there for to fix this shit. That's what it is. That's what it should be about. You want to know what this reminds me of? And they're going to arrest the person that has the least bruises. They on know them. that. Everybody Are knows that. You know, this reminds me of a conversation I had with my son. Like, yeah. He just messy, missing. He want to bring up everything else. But what we talking about Facts. in order to try this, to get damn, I feel like I feel like I was in this conversation, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? Darryl? You're, you're talking missing about the whole point. point. I know what you're exactly. saying. I think y'all I mean, missing it. Yeah, missing I, the whole I, point. You know what the interesting thing is about this whole thing, Jr. Is that 
they the whole they thing just it. goes and y'all are missing it. And you trying to and Kay trying to defend crazy. Courtney. Y'all both missing no it. No one is defending y'all, anybody. She's she trying to she trying to pick you up. Listen, both of no, y'all are missing it. Both of y'all missing it. Lady, under, <laughs> under no uh, under no circumstance should a, should a woman just think she gonna hit a man. Yeah, right. so so talk about that. That's the topic of conversation. Talk about that. Talk about your thoughts and feelings about that. What you talking about now? Everybody knows that. Duh, the fuck. The sky is blue. If a man hits a woman, regardless of what the fuck a woman did before, and the man going to jail, it don't matter. That duh, the fuck. Exactly. Yeah, if they hit, no if they hit the man, that. it's gonna be no up to that individual that. man whether he responds or not. Nobody should. Can't be mad at him in the story. You know, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. You know what? You know what else is You know what the interesting thing about this whole thing is? How y'all gonna make a wrong right right now? Nobody should. That's not making no sense. I think you know, I don't think they just missing the point. They just missing the point unless they that retarded or they just you know not taking accountability. But I don't, I don't know. I'm confused about where they coming with it. I don't know if they're not taking accountability or they're just that dumb or they're just they missed the point of the conversation. I'm confused. Ooh, what does confuse me or I find interesting is that if that's the type type of if that's the type of conversation, that's the subject we're talking about. What's the point of even bringing her? situations up her scenarios up the ka show like she's the one who presented that she inputted this subsection of the conversation into the conversation you know she's smaller she hits you so you don't feel like it's on the man to fix that like she came with that she said i would never do that but she came with that what's the point of even putting that in there and now courtney's here defending essentially what Kay just said you know I mean, like I said, I'm still trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but I low key want to take that benefit back because the more I'm thinking about it, it makes me feel like they here trying to defend the woman in that type of situation, and that's pretty dumb. Courtney, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait. go ahead. The interesting thing. The interesting thing about it is that. They will spend 99.9% of their time trying to get you to figure out how to be more reactive instead of solving the problem, which is you should not put your hands on a man. That was the you first thing even, everyone you said. Don't even, you, don't even, you don't even get into this situation. If y'all, y'all need to spend more time having conversations with women and saying, hey, you're not Facts. equal to a man. You're not as strong as a man. Keep your hands off of him and you won't find yourself in a position where he got to try to restrain you. Oh facts. Even have- That's facts. That's all facts, man. That's all facts. Like they sitting there trying to give uh, give men advice on what to do in case they find themselves in this situation. Instead of fixing the core of the problem, how do we prevent that from happening? But and that's never going to stop, though. It's never going to stop. Like I said before, women get emotional in, type of, in those type of situations. A lot of women, you know, they, they, they throw logic out the window. They, they take advantage of the fact that Typically, if a man hits a woman, they're going to be the one that comes out of that uh, situation unscathed. Yeah, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, they're going to come out of that situation better than the man. The man's going to be fucked up, right? It's just one of those benefits that the women have in society. So it's a double standard. It's, it's, just, it's just fucked. And men can't fix that at all. That's on the women to fix that. You know, women's perspective. And that's on that's on the, the that's on. That's when women uh, focus on that situation, come about fixing it, man. But, like, that's never going to happen. That ain't never going to happen un- oh, unless, like, the, the legal system goes about it differently. But that's never going to happen either. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, damn, nah. It's, it's just fucked. It's not, it's not one of those areas that's fucked. And that didn't paint any better picture for me when you got those women talking how they was talking, bro. Anyway, man, curious to know y'all thoughts about it. Um how should a man be judged, treated, if he responds and defends himself against a woman that puts her hands on him, regardless the size and the injury sustained? The woman hits him, he hits her ass back. What should be the consequence for that? Should there be a consequence? Let me know.